What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the storyline Pulisic card to review today. I've grinded it out all the way to level 30 boys so I can obviously give you guys this review. So help me out if you do leave a like on this video. Either way, he's got 92 pace, 90 dribbling, 83 shooting, 80 passing with the 66 physical as well. If we are comparing this card to his gold card, we are looking at a plus 3 to pace, a plus 13 to shooting, a plus 6 to dribbling, a plus 6 to defending, a plus 8 the passing and a plus seven to physicals as well he is a five foot ten player with medium medium work rate four star skill moves and a four star weak foot now if we are talking about the best chem style for this card right here i feel like it's a marksman chem style i feel like obviously the marksman helping out with the finishing and the shot power is going to be huge while also helping out with the long shots but not just that is the fact that it also gives him that plus 20 to strength while giving him a little bit extra dribbling stats as well the other chem style that you could honestly use on this card Card would be a hawk chem style like let's say the pace is not enough for you you could obviously stick a hawk chem style on him and just try to take the gamble when it comes down to the actual dribbling i feel like his dribbling is going to be good anyway i just feel like it's going to be better with the marksman's chem style but yeah if you want to go for hawk go ahead and go for hawk i might actually try him on a hawk chem style just to see the comparison between obviously the dribbling but we'll see how it goes he has got 94 acceleration with 90 sprint speed so he's not slow at all his shooting ability is 91 attacking positioning 95 finishing 96 shot power 79 long shots 83 volleys with the 77 penalties if we are looking at the shooting traits unfortunately he does not have any he's got 87 vision 80 crossing 64 figure accuracy 86 short passing 66 long passing with the 77 curve the long passing is obviously a bit questionable would i play this guy in a cam position with the 66 long passing most likely not now the dribbling ability has got 93 agility, 92 balance, 90 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 dribbling with the 77 composure. Composure obviously being a little bit low but everything else there looks outrageously good. The physicals, he's got 98 jumping. As a 5 foot 10 player, you best believe we're going to obviously go for those little cheeky backstick headers and we're going to see if Pulisic is actually going to win them. He also has 88 stamina, which means he should be lasting for a whole 90 minutes. He's got 70 strength and obviously 60 aggression to, sorry, 60, 50 aggression to his game as well. Now, when it comes down to the links, I've obviously got that Jack Grealish card, the objective card, which we reviewed yesterday. I've also got like Aguero, Suzoko, CR7 and Dybala in this team. I will be using Pulisic in a 4-4-2 in a striker position, but I am actually going to use him down the line as well in his natural position in the 4 2 3 1. But let's get into the games. Over to Pulisic. Nice little turn. Little ball roll there. That's great dribbling. Lakaketa, cancel. R1 dribbling seems very nice as well. I kind of screwed it up, haven't I? Oh my god, how's he scored? Hold up a second. Sorry, but how did I not lose the ball there? I thought for like 100% that Kleiber was just going to come in and tackle me. The fact that we actually got a goal there is kind of jammy. But yeah, his dribbling seems very precise. Very, very good when he keeps it very close to his feet. And it looks like his R1 dribbling is also very good as well. Suzoko over to Pulisic. Nice fake shot. Give it to CR7. I want to see that movement. He is playing in that striker position. He should be running a bit more up. There you go. He does run up. Obviously, the guy is going to cover it. But I like that movement. I like to see that he actually realized where the open space was. Over to Pulisic. Give it to CR7. Give it back to Pulisic. That's a nice little cheeky one-two plays. That's another really good pass. It's going to be CR7. Even on a three-star weak foot, he is still going to finish that chance. Really nice little one-two play between him and obviously Pulisic. Going to go for that dummy. Nice little touch as well. Fake shot down the line. Bull roll him. Bye-bye. Lakaketa cancel. That's beautiful. Oh my god, that's beautiful. That is outrageous. Who was that against? I think that was actually against Gomez as well. The Lakaketa cancel perfectly, placing me into an opportunity or an angle, let's say, that I can just go for that across goal finish, and it perfectly goes into the corner. That just shows you how good his finishing ability really is. Ronaldo. Pulisic. Like I get to cancel, go for a few step over into the space. Do you see that? Oh my god, with the four star weak foot as well. Come on, do you see how precise his dribbling is? Like every angle I want to get into, he's getting into it, and it's unbelievable to see. And a left footed finish, that four star weak foot coming into play. Look at this, that's beautiful, that's beautiful, and that's an amazing finish as well. Straight pass, who is it? Quarter, I believe. Nice dribbling from Dybala to Greedish to Pulisic. Maybe a cheeky one-two using that pace to probably get him in behind. Let's see. Nice ball. Hill to hill. Lakaketa cancel. That's beautiful. Oh my god, look at that. 
Ball rolls wrong. Nah, who's that? Furlan Mendy just catching up to him. But they're dribbling, boys. I'm telling you, they're dribbling with the pace. Up front right now, he's really impressing me. Nice. Good run once again. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Keep going. That's it. That's it. I kind of see a back stick there. But I'm going to take him on because why not at the end of the day? Nice dribbling again. Going to go for that easy sweat. And we are going to get our fifth goal for this game. So I have applied a Hawk Chem style onto the card. Now we're going to give it a go. We're going to see the difference between obviously the Marksman and the Hawk Chem style. And I obviously we'll be telling you guys which one is actually better at the end of the review. I'm obviously expecting stuff like his pace to obviously be better. I'm not expecting like a big, big difference when it comes down to the dribbling. But we are going to see how it goes. Going to give it to Pulisic. We are playing him in that land position now in that 4-2-3-1. Going to play him that ball right there. Let's see his pace. Oh, yeah. You can notice it instantly. Yeah, 100%. Look at that Hawk Kem style. Look at that pace coming to play. Going to pass it to CR7. Extra pass to Aguero. Wow. Varane actually intercepts that. Yeah, the pace instantly is something you can notice between obviously the Hawk Kem style and the Marksman Kem style. The Hawk Kem style just gives him that extra little pace. So for me, if you're trying to play this card down the line, the Hawk Kem style, I feel like is going to be way more useful. So I do want to see how he actually feels on the ball with the Hawk Chem style as well. R1 dribbling seems pretty good still. Little ball roll. Yeah, there is certain touches. I saw right there. There is certain touches that you can actually notice why the marksman at dribbling is actually better. But it's definitely it's definitely usable without the marksman chem style. Like, you don't really need it. As I said, if you're trying to play this card down the line, I feel like a Hawk chem style is going to be perfect for him. But if you're trying to think, you know, of playing this guy more in a striker position, I feel like a marksman is going to be the way to go. Come on, try to aim do this perfectly. That's kind of decent, to be fair. Like a Keta, cancel. R1 dribbling into a hill-to-hill. -hill. Fake shot into a scoop turn into another hill-to-hill -hill into a ball roll. Nah, we just did it. Oh, ah, we just overdid it. If we could just get a simple ball roll there, we could have had an opportunity to turn again and obviously go for like a right-footed finish. CR7 to Pulisic. I'm going to actually... Oh, okay. I tried to hit it first time, but it didn't really work out. Either way, touch, finish with that left foot. You can clearly see, by the way, his left foot is not bad at all. It's a four-star weak foot at the end of the day. It's going to be quite consistent. Pulisic, maybe I can go for a quick one too. Try to get him in behind a little bit. Going to double Y it. Well played. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Try to get around Varane. Look at that pace. Oh my God, no. Jimenez does perfect to just put in that tackle. If I get that ball roll, boys, I'm telling you, it's a goal. Pass it down. Pass it back up. Good movement. Scoop turn. Ball roll. Shielding. Scoop turn again. Kind of get that angle for that finesse shot. And it goes nowhere near the corner, which is kind of expected because the long shots on this card is not outrageously good. But do you see the shielding? I'm telling you, boys, his shielding ability is actually pretty decent with the amount of strength he has got. So it is time to review him. Two games played, four goals scored with a single assist as well. Now, this card right here was an interesting card. I thought this card wasn't going to be extremely good, you know. I thought this card was going to be one of those cards that you stick down the line, you give him the ball and a through ball, get him in behind, you're good to go, okay? But he honestly shocked me in that striker position. Like, his movement in that striker position was actually really, really nice. And his shooting ability with both feet, keep that in mind, was really nice as well. I felt like his passing ability, his short passing was very precise and his physicals surprised me a little bit because his physicals actually came to play against players like Varane players like you know Gomez and that's what kind of shocked me a little bit because if he's shielding off those kind of players what else could he actually do against you know the bigger players let's say either way do I believe this card is worth the grind to put into to get to level 30 100% he's a fantastic card and he is also a level 87 so if you end up not actually liking him you can obviously use that overall to make an SBC cheaper now when it comes down to do I feel like he is the one card you need to pick as soon as you get to level 30? I can't really say that because I obviously haven't used the other two players. But let's get into the ratings. Pace, I'm going to give him two ratings because we did use two different chem styles. With the Hawk chem style, I'm going to give him a 9.3 out of 10. And with the Marksman chem style, I'm going to give him a 9.1 out of 10. You are going to notice the difference but when it comes down to the pace, as you clearly could see. But it's like, it's not huge, you know. You can still obviously give the Marksman chem style down the line and it will still be very good. Shooting ability, I was really impressed. Left foot, right foot, the ball went into the back of the net. So for shooting, I'm going to give him, I would say like an 8.7 out of 10. I felt like the one thing that really let me down with this card was those long shots. Where I would shoot outside the box and it would just go straight at the keeper time to time. Like that was really annoying to see. Passing ability, love the short passing, long passing on the other hand, not the greatest. So for passing, I am going to give him, I would say like an 8.1 out of 10. 
dribbling ability, really did love it. And I'm going to give him two different ratings because it makes sense, right? With the Hawk chem style, I'm going to give him, I would say, like an 8.8 .8 out of 10. And with the marks, Marksman chem style, a 9.1 out of 10. The difference between the two is obviously noticeable, okay? It's just you're going to benefit way more, as I said, with the Hawk down the line than you are with the Marksman down the line. With the Marksman chem style, he takes these little precise touches, which you really, really need in that striker position. But for the physicals, I felt like the physicals, as I said, really surprised me. The strength was really, really good to see. The stamina was obviously really good. The jumping ability wasn't too useful let's say in this review because we were playing really really good fullbacks so you're never really going to notice you know him out headering those kind of fullbacks but it is what it is at the end of the day but for physicals i'm going to give him i'll say like an 8 out of 10 i feel like that's reasonable but an overall rating out of 10 i honestly have to give this card i would say like an 8.5 out of 10 it's really nice for a free card like really really nice but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace